Welcome back guys, I'm Gabe from Our Simple Story, and in this quick video, I'm going to give you an opening and honest review of a product that was just sent to me by a company called Get Out Gear. Now, believe it or not, even as small as a YouTube channel as we are, I get contacted by a lot of different companies to get sent products for me to review their products and to advertise for them on this channel. However, I don't want my channel to become a constant non-stop commercial for various products that I truly don't know anything about or have any experience with. So before I accept these uh, free gifts, let's call them, in exchange for advertising, I do a little bit of research and I check out the company, I check out their ethos, the quality of the product that they make, I read reviews, and then finally I accept or don't accept. With this company, they reached out to me, Get Out Gear reached out to me, and I did all that research. And it seems like they make a really good product However, I've never used this product. So this video is gonna be my initial impressions and then my usage of this product and giving you a pros and cons list at the end. Spring is here. That means warmer weather. And I'm down here in Southwest Florida right now. I'm gonna be doing some excursions and some different videos and filming some different adventures down here. But this is perfect time because, you know, all I have right now is sort of a, uh, sort of a cold weather sleeping system. So I'm thinking that this might be a good remedy for my problem and keep me just cool enough and just warm enough in the spring as it starts to warm up a little bit. So my initial impressions, okay, looks like we got a Get Out Gear sticker. This is gonna go in the 25,000 subscriber giveaway package. So uh, stay tuned to that. And I'll be putting out a video here soon as we approach 25,000 subscribers. So, so this is marketed as a puffy down blanket. And it says here, thank you for choosing Get Out Gear. Uh, take it out, shake it out, and let it puff. It's designed to balance weight, portability. Uh, your blanket packs small for easy carrying and storage. Once unpacked, allow time for the down to regain its full loft and insulating power. So it weighs uh, one pound, one ounce. It's packable, 650 down insulation compresses easily for maximum packability. It's water resistant. Uh, you can machine wash it as needed. Okay, so it's uh, versatile. It actually snaps into a poncho. Uh, so your hands are free and you can use your hands and cook and things. And that is really cool because in the mornings, especially when it's cooler out, uh, you may ex have experienced this if you're backpacking um, or doing any kind of, kind of camping adventure. It's, it's really tough to get going in the mornings when it's cold. And to get out of that sleeping bag and to make a cup of coffee or to get your heater going or whatever, um, it's tough. So having that warmth still on your body while you do those things is, is amazing and huge. Uh, it says it's a tough 20D ripstop nylon shell. It resists dirt, sand, and pet hair. And I am uh, a sucker for anything olive drab color. I love olive color. I love the green because, you know, I do a considerable amount of stealth camping, sometimes on this channel even. Um, but I, I camp in places where I just prefer to be unnoticed. So let me go ahead and throw their website out real quick. Uh, shopgogear.com. Shopgogear.com. I'm going to put a link for this in the description below. And uh, you can click through and you can use my Amazon influencer page if you want. So I like the compression sack so far. It's made out of that nylon, that ripstop nylon. It kind of feels like a, like a parachute material. This might, be, this might be one of the nicer pieces of equipment that I'll have at this point. Okay, so it says we're supposed to let it puff up. One of the best insulators is air itself. So the down is going to allow for air to get in. So it's got some uh, snaps here. Looks like this is what we're going to use to turn it into a poncho. Okay, so it's pretty sizable. Looks like it's got some hoops here for fastening at different things. So here's the, here's the size. Let me give you the, the specifications on this. It's 54 inches by 80 inches. So let me go ahead and spread this thing out on some, uh, some open ground here so you can get a better vantage point what it looks like spread out. And I'll lay out on this thing and, and show you what it looks like. So I gave it a couple minutes to fill up with air. And it does look like these little cells in here have kind of got a little bit puffier. I'm six foot even. I've got it spread out here. Let me lay down this and show you what we got. Oh. So make a great picnic blanket, beach blanket. Uh, yeah, but also just like a nice cushiony feel to it. Like I said, there's a little bit of air in each of these cells. Hey, let's prepackage ourselves for the serial killer. I can't get away, can you? I could hop for a little, but I'm dead meat. Okay, and there are snaps over here. You can go ahead and snap it together if you want. Uh, Three hours later. Let me go ahead and do the, um, switch it over to the poncho configuration and show you guys and kind of model for you guys what the poncho situation looks like. So the way this works is you throw in one in over your shoulders here. You take your snaps, 
And you're going to snap start at your top one, just like a button-up shirt. Boom. Then two. Three. All right. And it's a poncho configuration now. So it is warm, that's for sure. And so now you can use your hands. You can sit out by the fire. You can cook a little bit alongside the fire, all while staying warm in the blanket in which you slept. I love this feature. Now, let me say real quick, another reason I'm excited about this product is because I love my military issued Whoopi. Uh, if you're familiar with what that is, it's a poncho liner. It's very similar uh, kind of kind of vibe going on with the Whoopi, um, but mine is just wearing out and it doesn't have down stuffing in it. So it's not super warm like this might be. So let's talk concealment now. now. I am in the frame of the picture somewhere directly straight out ahead of you. But if, for those who like doing a little stealth camping or you want something for your bug out back and you want the concealment element, this definitely works. Let me stand up and show you where I'm at here. You can definitely feel the, the down effect. It's definitely uh, very well insulated. This is a very warm yet lightweight blanket. All right, so I wanna close this video out with uh, pros and cons and my final thoughts on the Get Out Gear down blanket. First of all, this blanket is awesome. Uh, it is replacing my military issued, um, worn out, ragged poncho liner. But as you can see, there's many places that are patched up here. You know, it's just a typical polyester, but very little fill, um, so very little insulation value, if any at all. Uh, but this thing has served me well over the years. Um, but I am going to retire this blanket after um, Get Out Gear has sent this to me. This is just a far superior product. And uh, But let me go through some pros and cons and explain how um, why I'm making the decision, but then what I think could be done to this product to make it a better product. Um, number one, it is super lightweight. Um, granted, um, you know, I spent three nights under this blanket. The last of the nights, it dipped down to 48 degrees. That's pushing the limits of this blanket. I was fully clothed with socks on, um, and I think I had like a, um, a shirt on and sweatpants and this on top of me, and I was comfortable at 48, 49 degrees. Anything lower than that, I think it's pushing the limits. I like to be a little bit cooler when I sleep anyways. Um, this is moisture resistant. If moisture gets on this, um, it just beads up on the surface of it and you can take it and just shake it out. So if you're laying out and, and you get some, some raindrops on you, it's not a big deal. I mean, it's not waterproof, but it's gonna, the, the moisture, the light moisture is gonna beat up on it. And then thirdly, another pro is it is extremely warm for its size. And uh, we, we owe that to the fact that there is duck down in this thing. Okay, let's talk some cons here. Um, it could be larger. I'm six foot even, so if you're over six foot, this might just be a little bit too small for you. So having some larger uh, size and options available from Get Out Gear would be excellent. Um, more snaps, maybe if we had like an L shape of snaps um, so that it could be snapped into like a sleeping bag configuration, um, that would be awesome. Uh, thirdly, something like eyelets or uh, drawstring uh, that you could use to cinch it down a little bit tighter around your head. Um, or something like this, like the, what the poncho liner has. Uh, just these just these tie downs here. And what this enables you to do is, is to create what they call a ranger roll. And I'm gonna put a link down, um, a, a YouTuber by the name of um, Grunt Proof. Uh, he has a great explanation of the ranger roll and how to make a ranger roll, but that's possible because of these, these tie strings right here. But if this blanket had something like that, uh, that would be amazing, that'd be really cool. You can never go wrong with having more snaps, more drawstrings, things to fasten things to itself. Um, I would love that, but awesome blanket. And I'm so, so excited and, and thankful that they sent this to me to review. And I will be integrating this into my camping gear. And you're gonna see this in upcoming videos for sure. But guys, wow, <laughs> that scared me. What are you helping out? Well, I wanna say thank you to Get Out Gear for sending me this uh, awesome product. And check out Get Out Gear. I'll put a link in the description below where you can purchase this product for yourself. I highly recommend it. Get one for the entire family if you, if you can and you won't regret it. Guys, thank you to the new and old subscribers who make this channel possible. And uh, if you don't mind, consider hitting the thumbs up button to uh, promote this video a little bit more. See you in the next one. Are you done now? You don't wanna be in the spotlight?